it's taken several years. When I was small, in the spring, I go to the Union Stockyards. There was 25 slaughterhouses on Slaughterhouse Row, and they all were out of cattle on Friday night. And so they had buyers there at the stockyards at 5 o'clock in the morning. Then we had these sale yards come along, and we had one here in Buellton. They eventually put an end to the Union Stockyard. So everything in here in California went to all these local auction yards. There was one here. There was one in Templeton that just closed a month ago. Well, then all the grazing land went to grapes that could. Thousands of acres of grapes around here. So when that happened, then these local markets started going out of business. We're down to where there's just one place in the valley left. Livestock supply stores. The uh, rancher next to us on the east side over here, he sold out. A uh, thousand acres was subdivided into, what's it called, oak trails, estates or something. And the rest of the other side of it was all subdivided. The rancher over on our west side, he sold, uh, I think he must have died years ago. And his wife finally sold it to um, Kendall Jackson. Okay. Okay. In Santa Barbara County, we have to decide who's in charge of the water basins. And then they're the ones that will determine whether the basin is in balance or not. And it's going to be a lot more political than it is scientific. And they named uh, five creeks in San Luis Obispo County that are polluted. One of them that they named was Shalam Creek. And there's always water in the creek there. It doesn't matter how dry the year is. Well, these guys have decided that the only way they can get to these creeks without asking a landowner is go under the bridges because that's state right away or state property or what. So they went under that bridge and they found a pool and there was a dead pig floating in. So they took their sample of water and by God, I guess it's polluted. A very interesting thing happened a couple of months ago. There's a prairie dog in Utah that the federal government said, that's an endangered species. You can't harm that prairie dog. And that prairie dog came in and it just, just overran this one town. I mean, it came up in the middle of the soccer fields and the football fields and they couldn't do anything about it. The Pacific Legal Foundation took the federales to court over it. The Pacific Legal Foundation won. The federal judge says, this prairie dog does not cross state lines and is not involved in interstate commerce. Therefore, the federal government has nothing to say about it. If that concept sticks, tell me about the Santa Barbara County Tiger Salamander. I don't know what you can say, you know. The ranchers have been going out of cattle business because the land's being used for something else. It's like what happened to the chicken people, you know. We passed a proposition, was it chickens got to have enough room in their pen they can spread their wings and they can stand up. Well, that changes the cost structure tremendously. <clears throat> the same things are happening in the cattle business. The state is starting something called GRAP. So they're going to regulate grazing. Those guys don't know nothing about grazing, uh, but I don't see that slowing them down any. What do you think that'll do for your, your operations here? Well, we don't know. <laughs>